Hey, okay. there it is. There we go. Now we're live. Okay, let's try the intro one more time because, oh. you know, tech difficulties. Yay! Game time. Let's roll for initiative. Okay, so welcome again for like we what we think is possibly the 13th time trying to go live tonight. Um, <laughs> uh, life's always more fun when you throw a little bit of tech difficulty into it. Uh, speaking of which, our our sidekick Ben is having some major malfunctioning technical difficulties, so hopefully he'll be able to jump in here in just a few moments. Um, if not, we will have to figure out a way to soldier on without our Ben, but we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so tonight we are playing the 29th version of our Star Wars RPG, our tabletop game. Where we get to roll these little fellers and have some fun. Wait, which so, one did you pull though? Um, not telling you. The details. Should have been paying, nobody rolls. Should have been paying attention. I couldn't anyway. see your screen too small. That's not my problem, now is it? Anyway, maybe you should make your screen bigger or get bifocals. Oh, that's my next optometrist appointment. It's Hold fun. On, I have tilt my head up so I can see out of my bifocals. Okay, now I can. All right, so. Uh, but yeah, so uh, and you'll hear some random announcements about these guys throughout our game tonight. But we do have uh, our show partners that we just want to say thank you because, um, you know, th without these guys, we don't get anything done. Storylines, TCTs and level up savers. And like I said, we're going to go through a little bit more than that as we go through it. But one of the things that we're most excited about is we have the opportunity to pass on some movie codes to you guys. Right. Right. Movie mm -hmm. codes. Right? Yeah. Woohoo. I like All movies. Right. Yeah, actually actual movies where you you type in the code and you get to keep the movie and you get to have and love it and hone it and call it George if you want. Anyway, what if you want to call it your squishy? You can also call it your squishy. Uh so we have three movies just to go over real quick and these are all available by signing up down below in the links uh in the show information. You'll see that there is a sign up for First, we're going to say hi to Ben. Hi, Ben! Hi, Ben. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ben. Thank you. So, having a full existential crisis with all of the things going on with my computer. We're having a great time. I might have cried. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Happy Where birthday. were we? <laughs> so, uh, we have movies yeah. to give away. So we have movies. Woo! Give away. And uh, well... While we consider the the existence, existential, I can't say anything. Anyway, the issues that existential. Ben was having. The thank you. Issues that Ben was having. You can consider clicking the link down below to, with a sign up where it says "Win Free Loot" in the show notes down below. Click that, sign up, and you will be in line to win. Ba -ba -da -ba, the movie Twisters. You can win a code for the movie Twisters. Own or rent Twisters on digital now, or look for it on the 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray. On October 22nd, the blockbuster disaster epic starring Daisy Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, and Anthony Ramos is packed with a whirlwind of heart-stopping action and exhilarating thrills. We Live Entertainment calls Twisters the perfect blockbuster. Watch it at home now with over one hour of exclusive bonus content. And like I said, click the link down below. You get a chance to win it. Secondly, the next movie is called The Silent Hour. The Silent Hour is new today on digital. Joel Kinnaman stars as a detective guarding a deaf witness marked for death after seeing a gang murder. Trapped by the killers, they have to outsmart them to live. Buy or rent The Silent Hour now, rated R, from Republic Pictures. And we hinted at this one last week. We talked about I shouldn't say we hinted. We actually talked about it last week. But there's also Casino in Ischia. It is also new today on digital. In the brand new action comedy starring Dominic Purcell, a fading action star heads to Italy to revive his career with a bold new movie. But when the production spirals out of control, his comeback turns into a hilarious misadventure. Buy Casino and Ischia on digital now. Not rated from Republic Pictures. So there's three movies there. There's Twisters, The Silent Hour, and Casino and Ischia. Uh, and check all those out uh, on, on Google. You can Google those. But remember to click the link where it says Win Free Loot down below. And give yourself a chance to own those movies 
and win those movies free for nothing from the fine folks at Republic Pictures, Universal Warner Brothers, and FSF Popcast. So, anyway, I, oh, I think that's it. Really? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all we got before we now we can jump into the game. We got our band. disclaimer. Okay. I would like to apologize in advance to everybody listening, everybody oh, watching, boy. and everybody currently playing. Oh, John is functioning on three hours of sleep. Two and a half. <laughs> you are overselling that amount of sleep. I was rounding up. That's, that's, such, that's a little fall amount. That's that's the I mean, that's the amount where you just are completely like insane and in a fugue state. It's almost as it would have almost been better to not sleep at all. I I don't know what you're talking about. That's my average amount of sleep per night. That's you guys are like, what's your problem? Sissy? I'm gonna, I'll be just as normal as Ben. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Oh god, my mic. Hang on. And John, you guys, remember, there we go. You guys remember are gonna have you heart attacks. About, you know, if I if I dress up for that Comic Con. That you'd help me get all of these I can handle because this is brand new. Yeah, you don't have any recorded proof of that. Oh, it's just not got in that. The, the podcast budget. Uh, that one was definitely on my podcast budget because it was uh, part of the Amazon days and it was on clearance for like four bucks with free shipping. I couldn't say no. Plus, it was indie. It's a bean. I just double was... in for emotional support. Ah, oh, tonight. Oh, hey, Ben, I know we're live and we should probably be moving on to other things, but look at my shirt. Look at my shirt. I love it. All right. All right. So anyway, uh, <laughs> this is going to be such a, um, just a disaster mess tonight. We're going to die. Okay. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastically be fun. We're all all right. <laughs> we have a video to introduce our game this week. Let's watch it and let's play. <laughs> Okay, so one immediate revision. Where's the gong go? Mm, it hasn't been several weeks. It's now been about six months. So Sam had time to do his cool stuff. Oh, it took way less time than that. I just needed oh, to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, several oh. weeks, six months, kind of the same thing. I don't even remember what I was planning on doing. I had a plan. <laughs> I mean, that was a month ago. Your revision was going to have to do with. Uh, my inability to use Roman numerals properly because I didn't realize it till I pushed play and I was like, technically yes, that's twenty nine, but it should have been x x i x, and I did x x v i v. What? That's too, too many numbers. numbers. That's too many v's. Right. Yeah, right. Is it a v of five? <laughs> Isn't it a v of five? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. It's yeah, it's so, I, so yeah, so I did VIV, so you like XX for 20, the V for five, and I did IV for four to make 29. I should have done an XXIX. There's ruin. This is why we got rid of Roman numerals and just used numbers. Do you oh, you've even got a <laughs> little addition from our friends in Arabia. You've got a 12 behind you, too. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It took a second. <laughs> it took me a moment as well. I'm like, what the crap are you doing? Oh. Wow, you're tired. <laughs> All right, so on to the fun and games, if, if there's nothing else to stall. 
I mean, there could uh, be. I realized the last game I sent a message to John saying, I have ideas for modifications, and then never explained any of them, so I don't remember what they were. Okay. It's fine. So we'll both fine. be surprised. That's a bummer. As will I. I'll be surprised too, Ben. See, yeah, we'll all be surprised. It'll be great fun for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do have the capacity to do some upgrades on Scurvy, but I probably would... I do my own spite. upgrades, thank you. Yeah, that's what I figured. Who needs a plus two to dexterity or intelligence? Eh, it's fine. <laughs> I can do it myself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Anyway, uh, movie time. Movie sign. We got a call from some imperial sector and i don't know who has our number anymore i know that what's his name with the nerf herders we still needed to turn ourselves in for fun and profit but we've been laying low here for a while after uh licking our wounds from losing the stupid pocket aces big bummer yeah. so interestingly the way we did lose it we lost it yeah it went right? bye -bye. yeah it went bye bye Interestingly, the message was actually addressed to Edna. Uh oh. Oh. It was. Uh -oh. From, it was from your your brother Durf. Oh, Durf. That's a perfect rookie name. Durf. The... <laughs> what? Uh, so, it, it's what the Durf? Kind of a random message. It, it's talking about a life day celebration with this family next door that you grew up with, but. You don't. That family didn't live next door while you were growing up. Are, you're saying this isn't a beach episode? Are we not having a beach episode? We should have a beach episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a I birthday episode, you, Edna. I see a Wookiee in a Hawaiian shirt so badly now. Yeah. <laughs> no, just those bright red robes, which, which does it, it does insinuate that they have clothing but refuse to wear it. I mean. Isn't that the best option? Yeah. Okay, so what does the idiot want? He, he's not really asking for anything. He's just like kind of badly telling jokes that don't have punchlines. And um, can you make an intelligence roll for me, please? I don't think he has Roll any. low. Roll low. <laughs> Ignore the quest because you don't understand. And no, Kathy, nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> How badly did you roll? Not as bad as Wheaton. <coughs> so a five? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> plus. You're you're intelligent though, right? I get a plus one, so a six. <laughs> it's all right. We're gonna go the quest. I'm doing. All right. Um, we're going on an adventure. We've we've never been burdened by being too smart for our own good, so. Yeah. Why start right. now? Well, Mo okay. here. Me, on the other hand. I need different dice. <laughs> May I interest you in a set? I think, I think no. Scurvy is the only one here who has anything more than a plus two to intelligence. I have a plus three. Hmm. Huh. There we go. Never mind. I am incorrect. So, Edna's over here just like looking at this message and trying to figure it out and seemingly drawing a blank. Apparently, she hasn't had her, uh, her coffee this morning, but. Oh, here you go. If it makes you feel any better, if it makes you feel any better, apparently I'm a doorknob. I'm a negative one. So, okay. so <laughs> clone. do you want to spend Meat a force point on it? Sure. So roll two d six and add that to your six. Let's see what happens. Also, call upon your good buddies to see if there's something else going on. I can't read Sherwood. Come, I speak at. I'll. Looks like Roman numerals to me. I, 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 um, I, 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 I. <laughs> just claw marks. That's a thir 13. Okay, 13. So, the problem is Durf didn't do a very good job of this. But he tried to use this code that you guys had when you were kids. That you would use to send messages to each other like, hey, mom found out about what you did, you're going to get yelled at when you get home. Or dad's coming up with an extra tour list type thing. Okay. But he did such a bad job, 
it's not your fault. So it takes you a little while, obviously. And the code isn't as funny as it used to be. It's not as childhood hijinks anymore. It's please help. I'm home. Oh no. Is it time for a forest episode? Are there beaches on uh, on Kashyyyk? I mean, yeah, it, it does not. Uh, I, it it sounds warm and with, humid. And, and all the beaches have waterscapes with gigantic animals that are trying to kill you at all times. Very Jurassic Park. Well, the giant Great. animals that try to kill you at all times is what reminds me of home. It's the dry, it's the wet and forested that doesn't remind me of home. But this, this will be great. It'll be fun. And, and don't forget the spider's the size of a tank. We're going That's, to yep. That also reminds me of home. Okay. Not a fan of that. Rain, rancors are endemic to my home planet. So Right. So... Um, Spiders, let's go. Let's go see what they're all about. Oh, also like building-sized bats. We have building-sized bats. Mm -hmm. So set course for Kashyyyk. If I recall correctly, Kashyyyk is full of all sorts of juicy griblies that the Empire is probably getting its hand off for its bio weapons slash bio glues slash just being slimy scugs. Mm -hmm. So. Let's so, uh, let's bust a blockade. All right. Who who's laying in the the nav computer course? I would assume the one who knows the way home. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So interestingly, the latest update. It's no longer labeled Kashyyyk. It's now labeled G five six two three. Gosh. Why? In yeah, Imperial territory. That. Yeah, we'll look at a renamed Coruscant Planet One. Imperial Center. Anyway. <laughs> oh, now I can roll. Well, good. You should know this way. Right there. I can roll, but I can't read. Uh, <laughs> 21. Both are important. Hmm? I said both are important. Yep, the rolling and the reading. Yes. Okay, absolutely no problems getting there, you know. But uh, you come out of hyperspace over Kashyyyk, G5623, whatever you want to call it. And there are three Star Destroyers just kind of hanging out. I'm going to prep one of the code cylinders we have. Not the one that we used when we attacked the Whatever we were doing, why not I'm using the other? I'm using the other code cylinder. Why do you still even have that one? It is just in case. Just in case we need to intimidate someone. Like, oh, hey, remember that time a secret installation got destroyed? Let's just do it now. Anyway, I bet I can fly us past these chumps. Okay. So which uh, you're flying? You're we're flying. flying the Manon calling. Yeah. Do we want to leave? Manamana behind and just take the Tortuga instead. The Manam calling is actually faster. I was thinking smaller. Why not bring yeah. like a hundred mud jumpers while we're there? It's a muddy planet, right? I hate mud. It's wet, irritating, and it gets everywhere. So the Tortuga would be known on Kajik. It would? Yeah. Okay. Is it my ship? Ship? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> good point. All right. Which could be good or it could be bad. I don't know which way it's going at this point. Mm -hmm. I know nothing and I trust nobody. Just like every other one. Let's go family. with let's go with no one knows us right now, hopefully. Yeah, I think we stick with the Manon. For now. Mm -hmm. ba, ba, da, ba. All right, oh, let's man. uh let's take it in. Um Try to track us a course that, uh, that Ted up to the gun, Scurvy, if you can chart us a course that doesn't, and Edna, if you can chart us a course that they won't, might not see and run some electronic warfare, and I'm going to fly casual. But not too casual. We don't want to give it away. No. All right. Trying to what course stuff. Yep. 
Okay. Charter any course to, you know, a safe landing spot, I'm guessing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're all, yeah. Wrong franchise, Nick, but, you know, we appreciate it. It gives uh, me an idea for a Tagorian. Anyway. I can remember this stuff. 24? 24. That's, okay. that's pretty good. All right. I feel like the Imperial Sirens are going off anyway, though. Um. Well, they, they are hailing you. <laughs> Crips, they're hailing us. Uh, they're hailing us. Edna, take the take the phone. Give them give them the old razzle dazzle. I'm yep. gonna. Edna answers the com. I start pulling switches. Okay. Edna. This is important. How do you answer the con? Is it with your Wookiee voice or your vocoder voice? It's not with my vocoder. Okay. I'm very confused. Oh? Yes, it is the Wookiee version of a Baru. <laughs> uh, unidentified starship. Uh, are you a Wookiee? You can't. Uh, cut power to your engines. Keep your shields down. Prepare for inspection. Can I land first? Negative. They're going to kidnap Edna. If I identify who I am, can I land first? Uh... Sure, we'll, we'll, we can discuss it. I am the daughter of unnamed Wookiee number one and number two, because I haven't come up with parent names yet, because I was hoping this wouldn't get used against me. Rangi is your mom, and Kurgram is your dad. Damn Wait, are you famous? Yes. What? I have no idea. A Wookiee princess. Maybe. Oh, yes. Find me. Now can I land? Uh, yes, we're going to give you some coordinates. We need you to proceed there directly. We will provide an escort. <sighs> Screw and gang, are we like how wanted are we by the Imperials? Very. Very. But do they know who we are? Pro probably. They probably pinged our transponder. At least one of us has diplomatic immunity. I don't think that's immunity that they're looking at. <laughs> In the presence of fuzzy royalty. Every day of my life. Um, okay, so think, how does this sound for a game plan now that they've sent a whole bunch of TIE fighters and probably a something heavier towards us? Uh, do you want to just use these guys as cover so they don't shoot at us and then once we hit Atmo, blast them to pieces and go to ground? Because that seems safer. I'm, I'm ready to start blasting, you know. Okay, wait until we're in uh, atmosphere. I so will remind us lesson. the last time we got into a fight with multiple Star Destroyers, we lost a ship. Correct. We are, one. We only we have, have one, one of those left now. We lost we are one. On it. I can do math, Scurvy. <laughs> I, I, I know the difference two. between three eighths and five sixteenths, Scurvy. There are three destroyers outside. That's why I said wait until we're at atmosphere, because then they'd have to slag their whole city. We'll wait until they're above the city. We have a we use the city as a backstop. Or the landing pad or whatever, and then we break. It's a forested planet that's big enough we can fly the ship through the forest, right? And now do you know like a emergency government backup, or does your royal family have a lake cabin or a cave somewhere that we can hide out in? Maybe a Bowl of a tree. Summer home. Yeah, summer home. Summer home, summer not. Is it on the beach? Of course it's on the beach. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> so the game plan is we will gently fly down. Everything will be totally chill, totally cool. And once we have us in between the city and the Star Destroyers, or the landing pad and the Star Destroyers, so they can't shoot us without shooting their city, we, uh, we take a runner and we go to the lake cabin. We take five. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think this plan's going to go so great, but... Tonight's questionable sure. decisions brought to you by TCT, because our decisions are questionable. Your fashion doesn't have to be. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, my. All right. So, going to Atmo. I really haven't worn this enough lately. It's very dusty. Yeah. Anyway. I do like the crown you got there. Mm -hmm. okay. does, does Edna pull out a Wookiee crown? Maybe. <laughs> uh, That's I funny. I already have the crown on, so, you know. You just couldn't see it in all of my hair. My hair now. <laughs> Been there the whole time. Yep. All right. Like I used to do with my cat ear headphones. <laughs> so, we're going to need a pilot check. And then... How do I do find a look? There it is. Yeah, I like. Uh, I have most annoying hits number five uh, ready to go to blast on all frequencies as loud as physically possible the moment we break away. Most annoying what? Most annoying hits. Oh, okay. Just the most annoying songs possible. It's the same thing that I did the last time. Oh, okay. Right. Make communications as impossible as as possible. And then there's going to be some extra bearded Wookiee who says a communications disruption can mean only one thing: invasion by the droids. Oh man! Flash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely knew we were in trouble. Well, knew she was in trouble yesterday when I'm sitting there just like scrolling on my phone and I started humming the um, Trade Federation landing music. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. you know, if the shoe fits. Anyway, I rolled a 34, so. Okay. You had to go and give my parents names. and I did, and your brother. My character and backstory. I did. You said I could. Didn't just That's what you get for not doing it yourself. Oh, if I did it myself, I would have gotten emotionally attached to them. Okay, well, that's we actually why. Because they all died. <laughs> no <laughs> leverage. <laughs> No, that's that's actually wise. I, I approve. <laughs> I'm just over here, you know, on a ship that the wizard that's been asleep for six months pretends he owns. So, all right. <laughs> you, you've got this course figured out. Easy peasy. Party breezy. The TIE fighters are following you. Um, do you want to roll for initiative? How many TIEs are on us? Six. Sure. Jeez. Are we all rolling for initiative? Or just... Just the ship. Hmm? Or just the ship. Just the ship. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Big bummer. That's less good than my hey. initiative, but... I don't always say that you guys kidnapped me. Fourteen. Fourteen? <laughs> mm-hmm. Plus, plus zero on this bad boy. <laughs> right. It is obvious that the engines are going up. Especially if you have some sort of cool multi-spectral imaging like they have in TIE Fighters, because this thing goes plaid. Goes plaid? Yeah, I put some I put some X-ray polarity filters on the rear engines to try to get a little bit more energy out of them. And now I don't recommend standing behind it if you are a species which procreates. <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay. my! Okay. <laughs> doesn't hurt the second time. <laughs> if he doesn't kill you, you're just gonna have mega cancer. It's great. Yep, mega cancer. That's wonderful. All right. So, one the tide notice that you're goosing your engines and moving to attack position. <laughs> Let's see here. 
So we have. Here we go. Having trouble. Oh. No yep. Oh. Wow, these things are weak. They're TIE right. Fighters. Do you need more light over there for your old man eyes? No. I need more desk space. Uh, Will a 23 hit the Manon Yeah. That's everything. Really? Well, hang on. But wait, we haven't we haven't done anything yet. I don't Did think we already we... peel off to the side, or is that what started initiative? It's a, or we were... it's a, it's a warning shot. Yeah. Yeah, a twenty three at seven. <laughs> okay. Did the Imperials learn from Chicago? The warning shot? Mm -hmm. Oh geez. It took me a second to realize what you were saying. All right, so 32 points of damage. Okay. Take your time. All right, they're shooting. Can I shoot back? This is yes, please. All right, I'm shooting. <laughs> you can. I am. Oh, okay. I'm up in the. I'm up in the turrets. I'm in my 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 little. It's not our turn. Room. There's six of them. Well, I split them into two wings. Okay. All right, so will a 19 hit? Uh, also, yes. Okay. Sure. Now I can roll good. Right? Do you know what it doesn't hit? This adorable little teddy bear pencil sharpener. <laughs> I should make it look like a Wookiee. Or like an Ewok. That's another 21. Okay. We're taking some shield damage here. Okay. And now you guys can do your things. <clears throat> I'm blasting the music on all of them as I try and pull our shields back up. Okay. So how many gunners do we have? It's all Ted. It's all Ted? It's just me. All yeah, right. I'm, I'm not dogfighting with these dudes. Ted, Ted normally kills two to three TIE fighters a turn, and that's fine by me. Right. Uh, so your damage for that is going to be... 2d10. It's a plus 10, and it's 5d10 times 5. Okay. But you have three gunners, so I assume... Well, I assume that's helpers for Ted. Yeah. Okay. So, I need... Let's see here. Uh... So, your d20 plus 10 to hit, and then they're pretty easy to hit. There we go. There's a reason none of them make it off of any Death Star. So, so 29 to hit. Oh, that's going to hit. Okay. And how many was it? It was a 5d10 times 5. Okay. Here we go. Six. 16. All right. So, Scurvy, are you going to do any like shield repairs? Yes. I rolled a 32 for shield repair. Okay. I basically just hit play on my annoying broadcast list and then went to fixing the shields. Uh, 100, 135 damage. Okay, so um, out of wing one, which had three fighters, two of them are gone now. Alright, so you got 30... what? 32 for shield. All right, so you get uh, 10 shield points back. Woo! Cool. What was Edna doing? Edna was going to get on the comm to let them know that there's been a mutiny on her ship and that she's trying to take care of it and that the, the, those in the party in question will be taken care of if they can just give me a minute. Uh, do you want to roll deception on that? No. <laughs> I will. No, I'd rather they just believe me. One. Will you be requiring assistance? Uh, no, I believe I can handle it, but thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Udex, anything for you? This. Uh, I hit the throttle, and I'm going to put these TIE Fighters into a 
just a absolutely brutal spin that I figure since they're in two separate wings and one of the wings is damaged, presumably including the wing leader, that they might fly into each other like fools. Okay. <laughs> the wing leader. No, oh, that's cocked. Ugh. Um, well, I didn't do so great. Go. It's only at 25. I'll okay. double check. Um, you don't quite get them to smash into each other, but uh, you definitely have messed up. Just the most annoying hits. And that might be the only net 20 I get all night. Oh. Did you crit us? No. It was their pilot check. Oh, well, oh. way to dodge. Okay. Um, will a 16 hit the Tortuga? Uh, that is our number. Not. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But not. That is How much number? did we recover? Yeah, uh, 16. We can recover 10? Uh, okay. Yeah, we pulled up 10. Uh, with my jury rig yeah does that That's healing uh, right? yes uh, yep. what's this hit points repair? it gives us temporary hit points i don't know if that counts for just repairing the shields because we haven't taken any actual damage right right You're correct okay so fast repair doesn't work for that or does it work for pulling up the shields off the top of my head i don't think it works on the shields. Okay, that's all. Then yeah, we only got ten for shields. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's eleven points of damage. Okay. You get ten back. They take eleven away from you. Yeah, it's just annoying. Okay. Please be careful. They are the government. Okay, I was wrong. Another nat twenty. Yeah. Mm, I don't like it. Well, this one's not on a pilot check. So. Sixty-eight points of damage. Okay. All right. Well, now we're taking a point damage. Okay. Garby's just sitting there listening to the music as it's playing, and I see her shields just go <laughs> gone. Like, ah! Alright, so back to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some sort of fancy flying to get Ted in a more favorable position to shoot. Okay. I want to shoot these. Okay, that's a much better roll. Uh, Math. 35. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm going to give you a plus five to your hit. Okay. Roll. Sorry. Yeah. Lined you up, Ted. Rolling for the hit. Yep. Uh, 26. 26? That's with the five? Oh, no, then that'd be 31. Okay. Um... Go ahead and roll your damage. Yay! <laughs> All right. In the meantime, other actions? Repairs. Okay. You rolled a 30 for repair. Okay. Uh, and because we've taken actual hit point damage, the fast repair gives us some temp HP. Okay. How much? Which, uh, the result of your mechanics check. Which was 30. We gained 30 hit points. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, cool. And I just and dealt does that also get us back 10 shield or no? I'm sorry, what was that, Ted? I just dealt out 170 hit points. Okay, we're down to one fighter. <laughs> uh, just for clarification, we got. The 30 temp HP, and <laughs> did we pull up another 10 points of shield or no? Yes. Okay, cool. Got it. So, I don't know how much we lost, but we just went up by 40, basically. 
Uh, we're currently sitting on um, 22 actual damage that's covered up. We have 8 temp HP on top of that, so we're at 808 HP with 10 shields. Ooh, okay. That's what that's happens when our do. shields goes down. It only goes up by 10. However, there's only one TIE Fighter left, so we'll see if we can't lose him in the trees. Okay. So he has to make a pilot check to try to keep up with you guys, and that's that's going to work. Uh, 19 to hit. That will hit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. They just do like nine points of damage, and that's it. <laughs> no, I just uh, rolled really bad once. Twenty-eight. Yep. Yeah. No, sorry, we're not taking that. <laughs> that's how this All works, right. right? We just say no firmly enough, and we don't get hurt. Okay, so this is the last surviving Tie Fighter out of these two wings. All right. Um, Edna, if you wouldn't mind giving us a course to the beach house, uh, yep. I'm going to do a spiral that lines things up for Ted again and hopefully gets us out of any air cover as we dive into the trees. 26. 26? Okay. 27 for piloting. All right. Dead? Because this is back to oh, us. Sorry. Yep. Well, uh, that would be a, a 14. I'm assuming that does not it. My mm -hmm. check. Hmm. Off by one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Rolled a numero deuce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if you hit on a three up, we're in a good spot. You know, we're, we're doing fine. <laughs> All right. Well, um, speaking of low rolls, I got twenty four to pull up shields and give us some more HP. Okay. All right. Were you using the uh, the jury rig on that one again? Yeah. Okay. Because it doesn't have like a limit on how many times I could do it. It just says like I can't stack temp HP. But we lost all of it, so Okay. Correct. Yeah, Great. we're uh we're currently in the slight negative hit points. So up Is twenty four. Twenty four? Cool. Yeah, that was my like putting shields and Okay. Patching um, holes kind of thing. Right. Um so it's going to be five shield points. Okay. okay. Um, five shield, so four health. Cool. Totally serious question here. Does a seven hit? Incorrect. Okay. So back to you guys. Oh, wait. I'm immediately repairing again. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, do... And... Go for it. I was just going to say another 30. Okay. All right. Uh, that, that'd be 10. Yep, so 10 shield, and we're still... Question, actually. Hmm. Do the greater temporary hit points cover up the other ones? So we'd lose the 24 and go up to 30? Or would, is it just stuck at 24? I think it's just stuck at 24, if I remember correctly. Okay. Cool. Never mind then. So okay, cool. We have more shields. We do have 15 shields. We are down 54 hit points. And I'm going to just try to line up this shot for Ted. Okay. Uh, got a 35. All right. Another plus five to, hit, to your attack roll. All right. Well, that's good. So, um, 23. That's oh, yeah. That has. Huh? That's with the five. Yeah, that'll definitely. Okay. okay. Uh, so 60 total hit points. I am not rolling good right now. It's all right. It's only one left, and that's more than they should have. Yeah. I have, like, 2 HP or something. Yep. So this last TIE Fighter, just get it lined up perfectly. Your blast goes right through the middle of the cockpit, and it just scatters in this beautiful spread of debris into the forest. 
You're damaging the ecosystem. Yeah. And if you look closely, very closely, you can see the helmet keep going for a little bit before it starts to fall. Boom. Boom. This poor guy. guy. Didn't feel All right. Let's, uh, let's escape. Let's make it our escape. Um, excuse me. To the beach house. To the beach house. All right. Who's in the cockpit? Bridge. Area. Sorry. I'm at the computer. You're at the computer? I'm on, I'm on the controls. Okay. I'm, at, I'm still sitting up at the... Yeah. Right. Yeah, while we're flying to the beach house, I'm going to do as much repairing as I can. Okay. And you have your technical crew. You know, I mean, Kyle's there. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah, we do. Those three guys got, like, ionized in the last game. It's been a week. There's more crew. It's yeah. we, we have somewhere, Kyle. Kyle is somewhere in the mall. <laughs> this is no, Kyle. Kyle too. survived somehow. This He's like, Kyle. Kyle. Every time we pass him in the hallway, we're just like, how are you alive? So as we approach the beach house, though, mm -hmm. I, from my 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 happy wookie little mm -hmm. fanny pack thing, pop out a key fob. Okay. And plug it into the computer, and it opens the secret garage door on the side of the house, so that we can park the ship under the house. Okay. Is that big enough for us? I'll make it fit. It'll be fine. It's big enough. No worries. We might have to Austin Powers it, just like. Inch forward, inch back, inch forward, inch back. <laughs> the main thing is I need to turn off a lot of these engine upgrades before parking. It's, Unless it's a adverse parking conditions. It's plenty big, and it goes under. It's all good. We got this. It'll fit. My brothers put stupider things in here. Wait, brothers? Okay, wait. No, I my brother notes. has put stupider things oh, okay, in Okay, okay. You never listen. I do, but oh. bro... Oh, I'm listening. Trust me. <laughs> that might be part of the problem. It was like a year ago when you told me your character's parents were still alive that this started. Anyway. You never let that happen. You can't. Uh, the terrible plan to leave them alive. Yep. Anyway. That's why all rogues have tragic backstories. Rogues don't have parents. Exactly. <laughs> it's uh, they, they appear when a cloth is left in a corner of a tavern. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Anyway, you know when you have all your clothes on a chair and then you turn the light off in the room and it looks like a person? Exactly. That's how robes are born. Oh. That huh. makes sense. Anyway. So, as you're going to the beach house, it, you know, looks pretty much the same, but um, there's an island nearby that you remember having, you know, a similar building on it that has been obviously modified. Oh, Lordy. It, it now looks like looks like the island is almost like a, a private fortress. Okie dokie. Why? Is it like a Wookiee style fortress with like cool intertwined trees or is it like an imperial fortress with like slabs of black metal? Um, Sort of a weird combination. I don't care for that at all. It, it's almost like an imperial fortress made using locally sourced lumber. I'm pretty sure that's where the governor lives. We are parking our ship next to the guy trying to kidnap Edna. As an aside, uh, one of my <laughs> favorite books that has taken me years and years to read because it's like 18,000 freaking pages long is... Um, the Memoirs of Jacques de Casanova. And in his, it's true story-ish. As far as anyone can tell, it's true. And no one will, but anyway, when he escapes the prison of Venice for being, you know, caught up in more crimes than he can even keep track of, he's yeah. running along and he's running through the Italian countryside on his way to France. And he finds like a beautiful mansion <laughs> in the countryside. And he's like, oh, hey, the local mansion will help us because we are escaping nobles. Hey, hey, uh, lady of the house, I'd love to stay the evening, have a meal. Um, is your husband around? And she's like, no, no, he's he, had, he got called in for work. Oh, what does he do? He's the warden of the prison, and there was an escape. And he's yeah, like, oh, yeah. no. Anyway, how about that meal? 
<laughs> it's basically what we're gonna do right now. It is. Okay. So uh, yes. Hello there, governor. <laughs> All right. So you've landed. I presume you closed the garage door behind you. Okay. All right. Maybe. So do we want to come up with like a follow through with our lie before and be like, it is I, Edna, and I had like uh, a prison break on my ship as I was bringing home some prisoners and these are my honor guard or something. How do you want to play this, Edna? It's your show. I, I was going to go with the, I have detained the people, the creatures <coughs> responsible for the mutiny and um, we've got some extra slabs of carbonate here, right, with people in it. Can we just we turn do. in Kyle? Can we, no. can we just like, arrest <laughs> Kyle? No, we have to keep Kyle alive. He'll squeal like a canary. So, except for our coffee table, I will now replace you guys with carbonite people, and I will say that this is the, the remaining good crew, and these are the crew that we have now contained that attempted to do stupid things. <laughs> right, right. Or, they took over. Or, or you can tell them that... Uh, uh, we just had a uh, hankering for a little bit of fourth meal, and we just left at Queen Bell, and we need to use their bathroom. <laughs> yes, the um, the one in the Mandalorian, Mandalorian armor has shat his pants. <laughs> My pantaloons, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Should have worn the brown armor. <laughs> what, color, what color is your armor, Tad? Well, apparently it's brown now. Um, oh, there you go. Uh, my mom is so proud of me. She really is. I I'd probably keep it the the like the, the best guard oh, deal look. Cool. That's a cool look. Okay, so I'm gonna get on the com. Let them know that I have landed safely in a safe location that I prefer to keep undisclosed safe. at the moment, in case any of the nasty mutiny people got out when we were fighting. Okay. Roll deception. I know it's one of your trained skills. We went over this last night. We're all gonna die. Well, alrighty then. <clears throat> How's a 24 treat ya? <laughs> Pretty good. So proud of your observations. <laughs> you actually don't get a response back right away. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Jill, you just almost fell off my leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay, with, the, with the beach house, mm -hmm. it is also a bunker because you never know when you're in a place of power whether or not you need a safe house. And there's, like, horrifying monsters on Kashyyyk, right? Aren't there, like, multiple species, and there's, like, dinosaurs, and there's always, um, whatchamacallit, um, Trandoshans coming for pelts and stuff? Yes, yes yeah. exactly. So, I am going to lock down the safe house, which okay. then also covers the windows so that nobody can see in, but we can still see out. Does it cover the windows and the walls? That's not sweat. Oh, okay. Just checking. You and your tacos. Taco. Bathroom is that way. All right. So have you exited the ship then? Yes. Okay. All right. So we are parked and we are exiting. Sounds good. We are in the happy little safe house. Okay. But now I have no idea what we're going to do because now we're locked into a safe house when there's Imperials out there. Well, we either fight our way out or we uh, figure out what's going on. I'm sure there's a little escape hole so we can enter into the forest and figure out what's on that island. We might have to swim over there. Do you have any speeder bikes at your safe house? Um, speedos. Actually, can I get a perception check from anybody? I'll do one. Yep. I'm good at that kind oh. of stuff. I will Three. also perception. I'm not doing math. Percent, but I rolled math. 
Uh, 25. 29, 25. 30. 30. Tim gets a four. No. Tim has a decent roll, but I'm confused as to which perception I should be looking at. It says perception. In in skills. Skills. But then I have one in skills as well. Oh, it's the one in skills. Why did that okay. just move? Why do you not have one in skills? I, I do have one in skills. I just didn't know if I should be using those points or something else. Okay, which one's the bigger number? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's definitely the one in... You only get one. one. Take the big one. I'm picking the big one. That's what she said. Uh, Family motto. You're, you're looking at something like a plus 12 or plus 13, probably? Uh, close to that. Okay. I'm at, I'm, I'm at uh, uh, 25. 25. Okay. So, We're not as Udex and Scurvy are kind of looking around, you, you notice that this place is kind of dusty, but not so dusty that it's been abandoned for very long. It's not a dark Or somebody anymore. recently moved in. And uh, you notice that, you know, a few things are out of place where they normally would be if they were just being kept in storage. Hmm. Almost like somebody recently was here. Ted... While you're in the refresher, I am refreshed. You hear a sneeze from the shower. <laughs> Not you. Oh gosh. A very like, big. Like a, oh, okay. A gunking in the shower. Please don't have it be a gunking like, in the shower. Like a dad sneeze or like a Wookiee sneeze. <laughs> I think that, but that's a great idea later. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a plan for him. Don't worry. A gunking in the shower. Why do you have slams with gungans in a shower? That would be very funny. I mean, where else would they stay? Exactly. They like the moisture. All right. Me's not getting clean. <laughs> All right. So, Ted. Yes? You're getting off the pot and you hear somebody sneeze in the shower on the other side of the room. <laughs> I quickly pull up my my uh, my Mando pants. His Mandadrorians. My Mandadrorians. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid and funny at the same time. That's me. <laughs> I got my Mandalorians. I pulled them up. Uh, okay. But uh, I would imagine that I would go over to said shower and um, you know because I do have a lightsaber. Poke it with the it on and hold it into the shower at the uh, chest of whoever's in there. You just hear the water sizzling on it. Oh no, the shower's not on. Well, it would be funny. Do you find, actually, the funniest thing is it would be if you turn it on first. <laughs> Smack the water, turn it on cold. <laughs> so whoever's been sneezing in the shower is now okay, cold. Reach across and turn on the cold water and then close it and hold the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even acknowledge the person in there. Just be like, ice. So anyway, so... I didn't do those things. I just took my lightsaber. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Oh man. All right. Put your mandatorians in a knot. I'd like to point out, though, you did not say you wash your hands first. <laughs> you didn't have time to. <laughs> Nor did you wipe. There might be a bidet in there, but it was a bidet. it was a bidet. We're fine. It's it's a refresher. It's an all in one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I was gonna say, is it that you used the bidet to wipe your to wash your butt so you didn't have to, or did you like reach your hands behind you to wash them at the same time? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hang on a minute there. That's some flexibility. We're gonna need a deck save. We're gonna go with um. You don't need to know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I was just anyway. All right. So a, a Wookie voice responds. Oh boy. Well, that's good. Hopefully. I don't remember if Ted spoke or understood no. your look. Ted does not. Nope. Okay. So, in the distance, the rest of you hear this. <laughs> yes, very high, startled Wookiee voice. <laughs> it's like a okay. Wookiee kid, apparently. Since I do speak it, what is what? Hey, hey, whoa! Do I recognize? Don't hurt me! Do I know the voice? Yep. Is it Durf? It's Durf. Why is Durf in the shower? 
The shampooing. Got it. It's really the, long time as a Wookiee. That's the thirty-four minutes of showering per of shampooing per day. Did I did I did I singe any of his Wookiness? No. Ah. His royal Wookiness. His royal Wookiness. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. You guys continue on. Okay. Oh boy. All right. All right. So Edna makes her way over to the bathroom. Say goodbye. Bye. The Ted DeLorean is in. Okay. I, I wait for them to open the door because I'm not opening the door because that's, you know, no. <laughs> when one of your friends and you hear you noises, you don't know. You know what? My it. fiance and my father were in a bathroom together once, and I didn't question it either. So. Wait. Anyway, <laughs> Ed, Ed, Edna or John? <laughs> uh, sorry, that was an out of game moment. And yes. yeah. We can talk about that after we're off the live. Anyway, we might have to make that. Uh, we might have to talk about that now. It was a Burger King bathroom, even. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, so you come into the bathroom. Ted's standing there with his lightsaber pointed at your brother. I mean. Have you two gentle beings followed? I have, yes, because I think I also speak free book. Uh, I will watch the other entrances. Okay. And I'm assume that you guys will scream or squeak or make robotic noises if there's a problem, because I'm a little worried. Okay. I am just yelling at my brother in Shewook with the, why did you call me here? What do you need? What are you doing here? It took you long enough to get here. I'm sorry, I was busy. Did you notice the Star Destroyers? Did you notice the Star Destroyers? What how did you notice the Star Destroyers? Okay, so how did you get here without being noticed? Because I'm smarter than you. Well, that, that is incorrect. That's so incorrect. we were completely noticed. Yeah, they definitely know we were followed somewhere. We did kill all of them. He does not need to know that we were noticed. He I shot him all. It's fine. That's we're kind of critical anymore? information. No, they, they definitely know that those TIE fighters and TIE fighter pilots are not going home to their, you know, families, spouses, and kids. Well, that is something that those TIE fighter pilots knew when they signed up for what they were doing. So, idiot, why are you here? I'm hiding, obviously. Not very well. Well, you might notice I'm the only one here. What gives? Uh, so, I don't know if you noticed, the Empire kind of relabeled the planet. Yeah. Okay. Because they're taking away our rights. They're selling us into slavery. They're using us as slaves for whatever projects they come up with. There's... All kinds of bad things going on right now. Uh, they've got this breeding program going on to try to make stronger Wookiees or something. I don't know why they would want that. We're strong enough, right? Wookiees, Wookiees are strong. Wookiees together are strong. Yes. Well, let me guess. They have mom and dad? Yeah. Do you know where the prison is? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that, the, is that the island in the lake? No, no, it's not the island in, in the lake. That, that's just, uh, that's where the moth's living right now. Hmm. hmm. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Perhaps we can use that to whoop his butt and face. Yeah. Uh, Muff Talrook, I think his name is. Talrick. That sounds like a Wookiee name. It sounds more... <laughs> it sounds more a Wookiee name than Durf. <laughs> Maybe that's why they sent him here. I don't know. <laughs> What's your qualifications for being Moff of, uh, of Kashyyyk? I have a very Wookiee name. Good enough. We're signing you immediately. Pack your bags. But most likely, mom and dad are in Camp Sardo. Okay. It's a detainment camp. Where? Um, 
about 100 kilometers inland. Most of the uh, breedable pairs have been taken there. Gross. Don't stand near my engine and you won't be breedable either. Hey, ask this guy. Is this your brother, Edna? Ask this guy if they've got uh, if they've got cool riding beasts and or racing speeders here. 100 kilometers is nothing. If I heard everything correctly, my Shirawook is mostly slurs. That was his. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> Understandable. So, what's the best way to get there? Um, I don't know if there is a best way. We might have to make our own way. I mean, unless we can get in contact with the resistance, but I mean, they're really well hidden. They wanted nothing to do with us. I mean, I blame Dad. I, it, we we can yeah. get in contact with them. We we, we are part of them. We we can just make a call. Like I said, I was busy. How busy? Very. Wait. I just I, I just pull out the puck with my warrant on. It's a wanted poster. And here and our our uh, our bounties have actually gotten negative. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you 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 know I don't think I can come up with a, a lie to tell mom to to make that go away. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm just glad they don't know because I still get my allowance. Oh uh, yeah, about that. They, they've also frozen our assets. Yes, they have. Oof, big bummer for Wait. people with assets. Edna, you're poor now, correct? No, they they froze those assets. I then transfer them to a separate account so that I can't get noticed because I'm not dumb. So it's an but that, that, in Argentina. That does mean that you are poor it's now. Argentina. Okay, so what you have on your sheet is what you have. That's it. We're not like that poor though. I mean, oh, we no. lost a. We're, we're ship rich, money poor. I'm down to only the pants money. How much pants money do we have actually? Like. 30,000 or something, but... Okay, because I have, like, 4,000 of those credits in mine. I didn't know if, like, other people were hanging on to the rest of it. I I mostly deal in, like, Starship Future. Future yeah. Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. Cheesy Droidita Crunch. God. Oh. Right. Well, uh, do you guys want to go free the parents or uh, blow up the moth's house together separately? Yes. Which order? Which order do we want to do this? I love uh, sticking it to the empire. I, I say, do. yeah, we we blow up the moths first, and I then we go after the parents. We do need to call or, them first, or we use the moth as a bargaining chip and get the parents out of prison, and then blow them up. The, the moth, not the parents. Fucking I mean, we're literally them. next door. We can just kidnap them. Yeah. What are they going to do? Bomb us? I can what? stay looking at the DM. Yeah, no, I mean, they probably would. Like, they'll know where we are. They'll probably be willing to sacrifice a moth. <laughs> because, like, those Imperial Captains, if they're anything like the Imperial Captains we've seen before, they're perfectly willing to further their careers through collateral damage. I bet a handful of them or the Admiral up there are wanting the Moth job. So if, uh, if the Moth were to die in a tragic accident, it would further their careers. They are just real pieces of work. Then other idea, instead of blowing everything up, we sneak in, kill them off, take the codes, and then order the release of the parents with their signature on it. We could make it even stealthier if we do, like, uh, um, send a transfer order and then we intercept the transfer. Easy peasy. 
if we find an Imperial droid in there, we can program the run the place and just give out random orders for a while and then self-destruct. So, I can do that. Stealth mission it is. Love a good stealth mission. Uh, sounds like we're gonna have to swim to this island and like knife our way in and, you know, get all ready. I have paints for this. Start, grab a piece of cloth, Rambo it up. You're but, a little Rambo. Unfortunately, the paints aren't visible to any of you, so. Can we still contact the resistance as well though? Oh yeah, we should probably do that. They might be able to help. In fact, they might be able to free your parents while we're going after the Moff, because if we split their forces, there we go. That would take yeah. time, though. To contact the, contact the Resistance? They would have to get here, assess the situation, and then deploy forces that could well, just be we, attacked by could, the Star Destroyers. I'd like to point out that in a future timeline, uh, they did something really quickly when somebody else handed them intel. So, um, that's also what I was thinking. So, if we do the intel and kind of scrape together, find out where people are at, what's going on, then, uh, you know, while they're extracting, we can do the, uh, you know, bopping over the head type of thing. Is this just also... the, timeline, uh, the Freemaker Chronicles? <laughs> Season one, there's, episode there's, seven. There's also one other person we could attempt to contact to cause liberating chaos hmm. they were kind of a menace during the clone war home a saw like guerrero oh. ain't he uh he's in the weeds at this point and difficult to find but if we can get in contact i guarantee they will cause a distraction big enough for us to get through everything I feel like I heard he was here a few years ago. Maybe he is the resistance. <laughs> I actually don't really want to get involved with him because he has a reputation for leaving behind a trail of bodies, friendly and foe. Yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Is that not what we have done several times? Look, I, I, as soon as the words came out of my mouth, but well, here you go. The difference is, is that we have a, a moral line that we do not cross. Saul is ready to just. We have. It's a very fine moral line, and we've we've tiptoed. That's across really the far out there, but and I don't think that's the difference between us and him. I think the difference is our, we have our friends fine we moral line is also dashed. Yeah. Look, waiter, there's a gun in my shower. <laughs> maybe maybe we could get in touch with Sagara, but how are we going to do that? Like, because he will kill the messenger. He's he's horrifying. I've. I've been reading up on the dossiers that we are able to get from Pivot on anyone else we can get in contact with here, and they are scary. I uh, yeah. Someone I don't in the we... resistance has the phone number for this guy. I really think that's a bad idea. But let's find out. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? We could all die. Okay. That happens every day anyway. That we speaking of, I gotta go fix the dang ship. Ugh. Oh, I've already been. I'm I'm talking to everyone through the comm at this point. Oh, you're already preparing the show. I, I the moment we found out that it was Edna's brother, I walked away to go fix the ship. Okay. I'm just talking over the radio. All right. Well, um, okay. Let's get in touch with the resistance, and we'll say we have two targets. We are looking to uh, take out the moth, and we're looking to free. Edna's parents. And if the resistance does turn out to be associated with Sagarera, was that your dog making wookie noises? Yeah, no, she was just growling. I had to move her because she was going to step on some very sensitive things. Uh so if we um if we take uh if we send Sagarera to actually go after the moths, because we don't care about survivors there, that's a pretty good use of a resistance salt. And we can offer this uh, cabin as a staging area in trade. And maybe second some of our mud jumpers to them. Anyone who's sick of sitting around on a ship, lying low, eating rations, and wants to take the fight to them. And we can take anyone off their hands who needs like medical or psychological help. So let's get in touch with the Resistance. Do we have a contact number for them? Hey, uh, okay. Turf, do you know them? 
So wait, wait, wait. You're going to take anybody from Saw Guerrero's group who needs psychological counseling. That's all of them. <laughs> Just the ones who can't fight anymore. Just the ones who can get a, a day off. I, believe I can only provide psychological eight, damage, eight, unfortunately. It's it's 888-GO-REBEL. <laughs> that actually checks out. All right. So you're trying I, to hope that somebody calls that and it's a real number and... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and if it is, it my apologies. It it so, 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 John, the game plan is we are going to attempt to get in touch with the Resistance. We are going to swippity swap places with them. We will strike the prison while they strike the Moff's base. And then we will escape. Okay. All right. As I mean, why, why are we doing it that way instead of just sneaking into the mobs ourselves because we're literally next door. All we need the resistance or like the rebellion to do is distract the star destroyers so we can grab the parents and get off the planet. Oh, that's actually if a really good Wookie, point too. If we have Wookiee nobility, we have grounds for like, we have a, a figurehead that we can hoist up for the rebellion. Incredibly Maybe. prominent and important people that go, my planet's been conquered. So what are you proposing? Sneak in, take the code cylinders, kill them off, make a very easy transfer of care from the prison to somewhere else and either intercept midway or just have them dropped off at the doorstep. Okay, so don't get the resistance involved. Well, we still need the resistance to get off planet. We will get shot down. We did kill six TIE fighters. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it that way then. Sneaking time. Woo. Uh, I'm going to make a call to tip it if I can. There's only 210 TIE Fighters theoretically left on those Star Destroyers. Okay. That's still more than we can deal with with a single ship. Even with my jumpers, we're gonna die. Yeah, they're not that useful in the space battle, unfortunately. I could probably take out... wings survive. Oh, you have 200 of them. I mean, it leaves a few for you guys. Okay. All right, so you're contacting who first? We're gonna try and contact Pivot. Pivot? Okay. Um, and what are you telling them? Uh, encrypted message. Just Kashyyyk has been conquered. We are attempting to get dignitaries off planet for safety and to join the rebellion. Can you assist? Okay. Um, and obviously you're doing some planning and staging and yeah. all kind of stuff. So, while later, uh, assistance incoming, wait, uh, two local rotations. Cool. So you got two days. Yeah. All right. Well, Thanks. then. Do we... I'm going to go to DERF. Just... Are there any surveillance drones or schematics of the island cabin next door? Uh, well, I mean, there were the original building plans, but I don't know what they've uh, what they've updated. Are there any uh, underground like, tunnels that go beneath the water? Oh, those! Ha! I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, if we're this close to our neighbors, in the event of an emergency, I mean, all of us, yeah, you know, we kind of stick together. So if they needed to escape here, we needed to escape there. Yeah, there's a tunnel. I give now plans. Oh, yeah, no problem. He, he brings the file up on screen. Cool. It, it's convenient. Uh, the and I don't know if the Empire knows the bunker's there, because we, uh, you know, we, we tend to make these things so we can hide from people we don't want to find us. Okay, so we know there's an underground pathway to get us into the Moth's house. We don't Perfect. know if it's been boarded up. Yes, yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is a secret tunnel through the mountains. Secret, secret, secret tunnel. Well, I mean, if it's boarded up, that's secret what we tunnel. have. That's what mud jumpers and shape charges are for. As long as we don't flood it, in which case, well, swim. Less ideal. Much less ideal. 
Yes. But let's uh, let's go scout it out. Although we need to wait two rotations, but we can still scout. Uh, do we want to split up and watch this thing? So, Tariff, if I'm hearing correctly, the like this is not the Moff's like personal residence that he like has absconded with and hides in. This is actually like the center of operations for the whole planet. Uh, as I understand, yes. Uh, he's made it sort of his personal palace, I guess. The governor's palace. He's trying to set himself up as more than he is. But it was one of the nicer houses in the neighborhood. Okay, so let's come up with some of our uh, our plan goals here. One of them is we need to jam their transmissions. The other one is after we get our transmission out, we need to blow up their transmission dish. So we're going to need to come up with a team to control transmission. We're also going to need mud jumpers and frontline units to go through the tunnel. And we'll probably need a backup plan uh, to do surface ships uh, when they arrive. I think we should just start with uh, probing the tunnel now and see if they've gotten there. And if we come to a door that's locked from the other side, we just fill it full of explosives and come back, and that's our entrance. I was thinking me, the two security droids that we got several months ago, and our new astromech friend, we go scan the tunnel for sensors, booby traps, things like that. And if it's all clear, then we all hit it. Weren't the security droids aboard the the pocket aces there were four of them right oh okay because we had i left two on the pocket ace on the yeah. pocket aces and the other two have just kind of been wherever i go they're on the out. ship with us yeah we've been we've had our wings clipped a bit but we're still there scurvy has an entourage yes <laughs> we keep leaving the ship so often i have to be like okay we have a permanent security detail So, uh, me, I immediately keep forgetting our astromech friend's name. BX35. BX, there we go. And it was B something. Mm -hmm. Me, BX35, and our two security friends are going to go through the tunnel nice and slow, checking for traps and sensors. Okay. I'm going to do some... Like a little mouse droid or something I could just send in there first. Like 30, 40 feet ahead, or do we not have a mouse droid? Um, that's what Kyle's for. Kyle, Kyle get the stick. Start poking all the things that we think are bombs. Wait, wait. Do, do you mean the 10 foot pole? Yes. That you've been using as a broom this whole time. Huh. Can you imagine a 10 foot push broom? Yes. Oh, that'd be insane. Oh. My knowledge and tactics allow me to help identify things that were bombs. Places where it would make sense to put bombs, at least, yes. Yeah. Me me, right. and you have demolitionists, so I would think yeah, that that I would have be demolitionists and I have uh, tactics knowledge as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you could... Okay. So then I'm, I'm going to help look for... We'll walk with Scurvy and, and the Max and, and look for explodables okay so you are in a like secret tunnel 20 foot wide 15 foot tall duracrete tunnel some undisclosed depth under the water very mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. all right hmm? i said i don't want to know sure you do all right um. <laughs> so, hmm. what? Can I get you guys to make perception rolls? There it is. <laughs> yep. Uh, <That's> twenty-nine. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, nineteen. Oh no, sorry. Uh, thirty. The uh, nineteen plus eleven. <laughs> That's oh, Nat 20. Okay. Ah. So what's your total there, Ted? I don't know. I stopped looking after I saw Nat 20. So uh, He's got good perception. I got 23. Oh, so okay. I got uh, 29. All right. 
Were you going with him, Udex? I I was planning on actually watching the from the top and sniping. Okay. So that's how I'm setting up. So and oh, you got so you're just hanging out in the doorway. No, I was gonna actually stay like find a tree so I can watch the top. And if you guys set something off, I can probably shoot the transmitter and tell you to keep attacking. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Okay. All right. Oh, you're you're above. Okay, you're above ground. I was. I'm above. I'm above ground. Yes. For a second. I'm like, yeah, where's the tree in the tunnel under the lake? Yeah, so it's it's for, for, uh... for suspicious activity. Yes. Okay. Um, the trees. <laughs> can you make a stealth check too? Me. Yeah. yeah, I'm great at stealth. Importantly, I am derf helped. I'm in like the trees and I'm wearing Rambo paint. So okay. all of us are or just Udex on the stealth. Just Udex. Okay, that's what I thought. Just make it great. I got a 23. 23. So I'm, not, I'm not actually good at stealth. Okay. For now, you're good enough. I'm not that kind of rogue. I'm the other kind, the cool kind. Right. So Udex is in a like concealed sniper position outside, okay. watching for suspicious activity. The rest yep. of the crew is in the tunnel, checking to see if they can get through to the governor's fortress that way. What was Edna doing? Staying and like making fun of her brother, or no? I mean, given siblings, it's a very real thing to do. Yeah, I might as well. All right, so. Ted, you got a 29 for perception. Yeah. Scurvy, yes. what'd you get again? 30. 30. Okay. So as you're walking along, you both notice a series of very thin, almost imperceptible, if it wasn't for the equipment in your visors and your training, you wouldn't notice this. These very thin lasers crossing about knee and chest height on most humanoids. Hmm. I like and to think that... Across the hallway. I like to think BX was about to, like, bump into him, and I just kind of, like, scoot them back like an inch or two and just be like, hold on. Do these look like, like sensors or, like, trip mines? Uh, those are... They're trip lasers. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Can we dismantle the mines? I mean, you can certainly try. Mm, I don't like that. You have, importantly, also learned the valuable information of this exercise, which is that they are aware of the tunnels. Mm hmm. Okay. But the, as a famous small personage has once said, the closer we are to danger, the further we are from harm. So, sure, they think the tunnel's secure, and then it's not. I like to think that we can do it between our demolitionist skills and the my mechanics ability and my knowledge tactics ability. I think I should be able to take something apart. You said there's two wires. There's one at ankle and one at chest. They're not wires, they're best. lasers. Yeah, they're lasers, like... Yeah, okay. So, like, if like, you... Ted takes out... Ted dismantles one, I dismantle the other? Sure. So that would be, if I remember correctly, a mechanics check? Yes. Okay. Mechanics. I got a 24. Mm -hmm. Math. Uh, 32. Okay. Is that a 32? I know. Yes, it is. All right. I can do math, I promise. <laughs> I still love that it's the mechanical voice that has trouble with math. <laughs> and then it goes, mm -hmm, math. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, Scurvy. You're good. 
I don't like that you said my name specifically and then you're good. That makes me think that Ted is going to be vaporized. I will, just before dismantling the, the trip line, I will activate my portable shield generator. <laughs> just in case. I don't like that he's rolling. So, Ted? Yes? You realize as you, like, clip the last wire that it was the wrong one. Oh, no. Rip. And this thing goes off. Okay. Hey, that best door, though. Right. Thankfully. So whatever the damage reduction on that is, 46 points of damage. I don't know if there is damage reduction in this system. If there was. I don't remember uh, Beskar off the top of my head for this. Isn't it like a... Or if the armor had... Isn't it like a reflex save? Or like a... I don't know if that'd be reflex or fortitude. Given that it's an explosion at point blank. Hmm? How many points negative? 46. 46. Yeah, I'm still fine. Okay. I mean, I don't want to do that too many times, but yeah, I'm fine. No. No. And then Udex. Yes. You hear a siren go off. Mm. Well, I shoot the... Uh, with an aimed shot, I shoot the... Uh, the strut that's holding up the antenna... So that it falls over and can't point at anything. All right, go for it. What's the range on that? On the, um, um it's going to be at the far edge of medium. Okay. Maybe. I mean, it's a plus five difference for me, but medium I'll take. So I plink it. But drink. This is right, now. Actually, I'm presuming you have a scope on this that affects the range. Right. And yeah. feats. I'm I'm actually very good at sniping. I just never do it. So, right. uh, yeah, does a definitely good. Only do it on Tuesdays though. Does a twenty two hit the thing I've been staring at all day? Um, just yes. Oh, okay. and hit twenty. Twenty-eight damage on the load-bearing strat. All right, let's see here. Twenty-eight damage. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you've taken a chip out of it. It wasn't a single-shot load-bearing strat. I mean. <sighs> You take a bit and it like tilts a little bit to the side. Okay, that might buy me some time for a follow up shot. Let's take a follow up shot. All right. Uh, twenty three to hit. That will also hit, obviously, including all the stuff. Yep. And uh, no, it's nineteen more damage. All right. Now it has tipped. You know, it, it did a good. 45 degree angle from where it used to be. Okay. Well, that'll buy me enough time to keep chipping away at that while I radio to these guys. It sounds like you've tripped an alarm. Do you wish to <laughs> use item, run, or fight? Oh. So, Edna, while you're talking to Durf, catching up on all the stupid things you guys have been doing, um, you get the notification that... Uh, the tunnel has been damaged, and there's a proximity alarm going off at the neighbor's house. What exactly do you think your friends have gotten themselves into? More importantly, what have they gotten 
us into? What have they gotten me into? I was fine until you guys showed up. You're the one who called for help. We didn't have to come. Okay, you've got a point. <laughs> so anything that happens is here by your fault. And I'm going to tell mom and dad that. God. You had to drop that one, didn't you? Yo. Peak <laughs> fibbling behavior. Yeah, this is very funny. <laughs> tell them mom. Now what? Do I know what they got themselves into? No. Probably something stupid knowing them. I mean, they're your friends. Hurtful. Accurate. Not that it's not hurtful, I'm just saying. All right. So, I'm going to hit the com. Are you idiots okay? Hey, uh, Edna, do you think you can wrestle up a some sort of distraction for us? It looks like these guys are going to have to fight their way out because of reasons that I'm unaware of at this time. Uh, we, may something. Have, we may have uh, tripped a wire, and by we, I mean me, and uh, I got a little stinger, and the head's a little ringer, but, you know, I'm doing all right. There are alarms going off. They do know you're there. Are you going to run or stay? I can provide more cover fire, but they know, in a two or three more shots, they'll know something is gone. Strange. I definitely know communications will definitely be out. Just do what we came to do. All right. Uh, Okay, so, there. advance. <laughs> is is you there know. like a like a gonk droid or some kind of like large rodent that we could throw in front of this now Are extended you trip mine? Exist. <laughs> it's something that we can make them believe it wasn't a person and that something walked into the bomb. Uh, there's nothing conveniently located. Also, Ted, as you got pushed back by the blast, you're yes. laying on the floor. And you notice a problem. Very slight problem. There's a drop of water on your visor. Oh, that's mm -hmm. not going out. We're about to get flooded. Oh, super glad I, I decided to do the snipey job on this mission. <laughs> It makes no difference for me. Can you not super glad? Your helmet? Uh, guys, we might have a problem here. I got some water on my visor. You I'm better looking, run. I'm looking up at the ceiling, and if I'm getting drips of water, that means we're underwater in this tunnel. Uh, it is an underwater tunnel. The oh, secret. Oh, God. God. All right, make your way out. I guess I gotta go save you. Yeah, right. I may have wanted to push forward, but I think we're going to have to dip back. Is how, there? How quick is the water dripping? Faster. There's only one of those things. You next. So I don't know if it's enough to like fully collapse the tunnel, or if it just caused a crack that will eventually <laughs> collapse it. What's what's up, at the? <coughs> is there still spare stormtrooper armor on the Manon? Almost certainly. Okay. Dirt. I can't any of it, but yeah, it's there. I Durf can't wear it. Durf can't wear Stormtrooper armor. He's a, he's a Wookiee, too. We're gonna do this. Oh, boy. Okay, that's a lot of, that's gonna be a lot of fur poking out of... So, oh. <laughs> Edna runs down the Manon, grabs two sets of Stormtrooper armor. I love this. Oh, no. Runs back upstairs, throws one of the sets at her brother and tells, her, tells him to put it on. I haven't worn this size since I was 10. I don't care. Put it on. We're going to go do a ski do race. No one will notice you. The I don't think I can put this helmet on. on. Okay, I grab the helmet and shove it over his head. <laughs> it's stuck <laughs> <right> here. <laughs> it's fine. All we need to do is we're going to put our, our Stormtrooper put armor our, on. Put our thinking caps on. We're going to go take the ski do's. We are going to do a big loop around the island to distract them from everything else that's happening. Because they're going to be very confused by the Wookiees in the Stormtrooper. Yeah. And what if, hypothetically, since, you know, there have been explosions and alarms, um, they start shooting at us? I think that's where I come in, Durf, my boy. Drive faster. What's the matter? Because if they're shooting at you, I know where they are. 
You know, I'd like to point out you've never beat me in a race. Oh! You're out, we're out. We're okay. Did your cat just try to break uh, your computer? He fell over backward and the screen shut off for a second. I was scared. Ernie, you okay? Ted, this may be our only chance to infiltrate the base from a stealthier position. Yeah, please, please go forward, gang. Okay. It's, it's either go forward or this entire thing is washed. Well, well, we might get washed, but let's go. Um, yeah, I'm waterproof. And to remind you, Ted, you, you stole the armor from somebody who used it on a spacewalk. It seals. Oh, it seals. Screw it, Ted. Coming soon we're, with you near you. We're still going to have to deal with the rushing in water at some point. But it's not like we're going to die, I hope. Uh, I hope. Okay, so if there are giant spiders on Kashyyyk, what's in the water? Anyway. Right. Bigger fish. Bigger spiders. There's always yeah, a we're going from the Fallen Order games, giant crocodiles. Oh, yeah, there are those. Man, the Fallen Order games are good. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Guys, go check out Crusher Convo. They rock. Anyway, okay. They do. I need to get a system where I can play Fallen Order games. Anyway. Xbox. I am Xbox. No. I, it runs on my 10 year old computer. It doesn't take much. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. 10? Also not 20? the point. Either. Also not the point. I certainly hope it's not a 20 year old computer. No, it's just 10. Running Windows XP on that thing. I mean, 20 years Wish. was only 2004. You run Windows that, XP. that was a while ago. Um, yeah. All right. So, Dorf and I anyway. are now sufficiently disguised as stormtroopers. <laughs> Sufficiently. Oh, Lord. And we're okay. going to go first uh, just... race around the island. Okay. So you guys are playing on, on jet skis. Udex is sniping. And mm -hmm. Scurvy and I are, are trying to avoid drowning in a tunnel that's collapsing. Okay. Got it. With the two security droids and BX. Yes. Well, security droids and BX might have to get left behind in the water. Uh, you can't awesome. leave behind uh, BX. Why Security I, droids I are replaceable. I refuse to leave my, my roly boy alone. So are they going to come with you? Go back? No, 100%. We need at least BX. Plus the security droids are armed. We need more than just the two of us shooting things. So we'll move forward with our crew as is. Okay. That's cool. And remember, right. gang, this is a no survivors thing. So feel free to commit, you know, flamethrower stuff. Do... Do uh, atmospheric st manipulation stuff. No survivors, remember? You need a suggestion. R remember, no Russian. All right, let's go. <laughs> there, there will be, there will be no survivors. It'll be fine. So, All right. as we go for the skidoos, I also hand my brother a blaster. I know you know how to use this. But he can't see. see. I can't see a thing in this hole. What you can well, the helmet's like here. Tiny little stormtrooper pockets. It's it's it, it's less of a helmet, more of a beanie. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Josie, can you watch where you're putting your feet. From their proximity, they're not going to be able to see. It'll be fine. He turns it backwards because that's what all the cool Wookies are doing these days with their hats. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, all right. So we're gonna go play on ski dudes. Okay. We are also sprinting down the tunnel, still keeping an eye out for more explosives. But I'm assuming we're at like a halfway point, which is where the the first bomb was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they just put one. Either John is really sure. Oh, there he goes. I'm like I can't tell if he actually froze that time or not. <laughs> You're in the room with me. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to you. I was looking at the computer. Oh, she never pays attention. And petting the kitty kitty. Anyway. It's a sweet baby. Um, so how fast are you guys moving down the tunnel? Pretty decent clip. Fast. I would say that we're sprinting, yeah. but we're 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 moving at a pretty good clip because we, we still have to watch for more bombs. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're moving at the fastest speed of BX. Okay. We, we are keeping pace with our astromech. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. How big are? How big is BX? He's an astromech. 
Oh, okay. Never mind then. He's like R2 size. But with a much oh. cooler paint job. But I could, ride, I, could, I could ride him into battle. That's I don't think that's not how that works, but... All right, so while you guys are moving, can you just make perception checks for me real quick? Oh, dear. Oh, hang on. Please, please succeed. And remember, if you roll low, you can always spend a force point for an extra 2d6. Hang on. I got I 27. my dice thing on accident. I got a 27. Uh, I got a 20. Woo! It's, it's not as fun when it's the digital one. It's not. Uh, for a total of uh, 31. Now. Okay. 31. Math. Yeah, 31. Alright. So as you're going I just along... added my mechanics bonus to the perception. <laughs> because you're actively looking for this. As you're going along... About well, three quarters of the way down the hallway, you see where there were mines that were disabled. Lucky. That's interesting. So that means someone's already been up here, and they just managed to circumvent the last ones? Yeah, who knows? Uh, anyway, okay, good luck so up. good luck with all that. So if those have been dismantled, are, is there anything on the ceiling that we need to be paying attention to? Things that would have shot said people? Um, no. Okay, good. No turrets. All right. All right. <coughs> so, Edna. Yes? You're racing your brother, right? Yes. Did you make a pilot check? That's a six. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. All right. So yeah, you you beat him off the line pretty easily. And are you guys going right around the island or left around the island? Left. Left? Oh, really? That's interesting. All right. <laughs> oh, dear. Most people automatically go right. Which is why I went left. You always have to be contrary. Not you always. the water, Kathleen. You go counterclockwise. I'm not always contrary. Interesting. <laughs> this is actually that you can hear um, Durf in, in your headset. He's like, why are we going left? Everybody goes right. Why are we going left? That confuses them, you... That means we have to make right hand turns. Nobody, nobody oh, does scared? all right hand. You turns. are scared. It's always all left hand scared. turns. Scared. So anybody, either. anybody, start shooting at him. <laughs> you see these two just take off going, and in the distance, uh, make a perception check. First of, that's fine. Go. First of, you go. Use that to, you know, obviously. To, to do what? Uh, give yourself a bonus for looking how, for anything. How much? Uh, what is that? Normally like a plus two bonus? Sure. Plus two gives me 29. 29. All right. So as these two start going off towards the, the left side of the island, you, you do see a, a small automated turret come online. Cool. I shoot it. All right. Roll for it. Uh, swift action aim. I presume that a... What's the range? Medium? Yeah, medium. Presume a 28 hits? Yes. Cool. 7 plus 11, 18. 21 damage. Alright, one second. 21 damage in his dice roll, and then whatever his damage was on whatever he just knocked over. There's an empty water bottle that's you know, of course, when you drop it over, it lets out all the rest of the water. Oh, yes. Uh, no, that's not the one I was looking for. You said 21, right? Yes, 21 damage. Okay. Which, you know, that's 
That's how much damage I do. <laughs> It's a, it's a heavily modified sniper rifle that does a lot of extra damage, but that's that's it. Yeah. I guess, is it still up? I could take another attack. Uh, no, it only had... Um, it only had 20 hit points. Cool. Well, it has a lot fewer now. Yeah. So, um, it, it starts sparking. Um, and uh, you, you see the small explosion up on the shore as you're sailing past and make another pilot check to see how your brother and you are doing. Uh, that would be... I should have just marked where it was. 18. 18? All right. So he gets a 24. He starts, like, coming up on the outside, even. Passing you. No, uh, uh, no way. He, he does this rather rude Wookiee gesture as he goes by. Which, between siblings, I'm sure is a, a sign of affection. If I... you, do, you wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. Anyway. I mean, you have my siblings. Does that count? Yes, it does now. <laughs> They're okay. Yeah, I like them. They're cool people. They put up with me. My in-laws might be cooler, so it's okay. Mm. All right, gang. All right. So 50% of my sister's-in-law. Anyway, so Ted and Scurvy. Yes. You reach the end of the tunnel. Yes. And there is a, a closed door. Okay. We have two demolitionists here. I think we can make something of this door. You also have an astronaut dread. And I have a cylinder code. Uh so red. first thing, what kind of a door is it? It's a uh, like a what's the word that I want to use here? It's not quite military grade, but it's like hardened. Yeah. So it, so not your average Home Depot variety. Okay, right. got it. So it's the I don't know prosumer grade wow. blast door. Okay. Okay. So, is there a panel outside of it? Yes. Right. Is there a scom port where we can have one of the Metromax of log course. in? I mean, this is Star Wars. Scom ports are everywhere. Right. So, the, real quick, the door, it's in front of us. It's not like up, right. or is it just... Okay. Yeah, it's then, cool. yeah, we'll have BX uh, roll up and while we take up, take up defensive positions while the door opens. Okay. All right. So you guys are waiting for that to happen. Mm -hmm. And then Udex and Edna, the turret goes up. You guys are racing around the island. And then off in the distance over the trees, you see a transport ship. Is it lifting off? It's coming your way. What kind of transport ship? Like a Thai Reaper kind of thing? Um, like a, an Imperial troop transport. Okay. They call it sounds like it sounds like something that definitely has a cockpit mm -hmm. that definitely has glass that definitely can be zoomed in on. Yes. All right, I'm gonna try to shoot that pilot. Right. I mean, it's a little far out still. Like long range. Udex is over here like, can I shoot that pilot? You I bet I can. <laughs> this, is, this is my... I love, I love finding the weak spot of things and shooting it with a gun. All right. You gonna let me bet that dog? I bet I, I bet I can take this thing out. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Should have brought a rocket launcher. What's my... Well... Not with that. Uh, yeah. All right, let's try again. It's gonna take a second. Deep breath. What'd you get? I credit. I credit. Okay. I credit. That's okay. twenty. That is, if it's long range, a twenty-five to hit. Okay. So, I don't know if this is one of those systems where if you hit it, but it's out of whatever, then you don't get a crit. But was that a crit? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Damage incoming. Eight. 
No, you just multiply by two, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, 42 plus four. 46 damage right through the windshield. 46 damage? Yep. Oh, uh, one second. I need to look up the stat on this. Sorry about that. It'd help if I knew how to spell things. It's a very helpful skill to have. It is. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go say that does blow a hole in the window. Cool. Um, we had a 9 o'clock cut off, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, well then, I'm really sorry, but we're going to find out what happens after, you know. After these short... After this month-long commercial break. Oh, bummer. <laughs> That's okay. We don't know what's behind the door either, so... Yeah. Sure, be... <laughs> Can we just... at least get into the facility? Can we do something where we're just hanging out? Are we gonna... We're just going to die. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're not dying. We're doing great, you guys. Like, I'm just a few shots away from shutting off the... the uh... Radio in here, we're doing great. Everything's great. I never uh, crit either. This dice is like a bummer. I can't. It's it normally rolls like the eight, and it rolls the twenty. So oh, yeah. I can't find any of my actual like scurvy dice sets that I have. I don't know where they went. They're somewhere. Fine, fine. It's all fine. We're all fine. No, totally fine. Uh, well, because I blanked on my other wonderful ads I had had written before I fell asleep for na my nap earlier. I did forget to mention our other wonderful sponsors. Level Up Saber, the only saber guaranteed better than a stick. The saber that you can always roll a nat 20 on hitting your friends in the balls. I mean, what? No. Never. We would never do something like that. <laughs> yes, and, we will. of course, Please no. Not who takes our wonderful chaos and makes it into family-friendly bite-sized clips. <laughs> well, they're not all family-friendly. It all depends on what we put into them. But yeah. Um, but yeah. So they, do a really good, they do a really good job with our shorts and reels and everything. So if you're looking for someone to help you get a hold of Storylines, the link for them is down below. Yeah. Uh, pretty amazing. Uh, and like I said earlier, we do have a couple movies that we're doing uh, promotional uh, efforts on for giveaways. So if you click the link down below in the show notes that says win free loot, click that, sign up. You'll have an opportunity to be signed up for the movie Twisters or the movie The Silent Hour and also Casino in Ischia. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to want to check those out. So. Uh, but yeah, you'll, the only way you can win codes is by signing up for the loot down below. And the great thing is you're not only signed up for this giveaway, you're signed up for every giveaway we have coming forward. So you'll have a chance to win something more than once. So you'll definitely want to do that. Um, also, as a reminder, last week, uh, Wednesday, we released our interview with JP Karliak, who is the voice of Morph from X-Men 97. He is Gobby, Green Goblin, and Spidey's, um, and his amazing friends. He's the voice of the Joker on Suicide Squad, uh, Kill the Justice League. He's the voice of Boss Baby in the Boss Baby uh, TV series. He's the jo he is the voice of a lot of cool things. But we have a great chat with JP. That's available still on wherever you get your favorite podcast from. And then also, uh, of course, our YouTube channel. Uh, coming up on Wednesday, though, uh, this this interview kind of just kind of landed in our lap, and we were able to run with it. We were I was so thrilled we were able to make it work, but we were able to sit down with Yuri Lowenthal and his wife Tara Platt about their graphic novel that they just released called "The Tale of Top." It's uh, Topsy McGee and the Scarab of Solomon. I called the episode "The Tale of Topsy McGee." Anyway. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's a really cool book. We talked to them and we're hoping that we'll be able to get them back on for something more than a, just a half hour chat. But, uh, we talk almost exclusively about this book. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really cool insight into 
uh, you know, what voice actors do other than voice acting. And it's, they're just really cool. And as Ben said, the whole time he talks, all you hear is Spider-Man because mm -hmm. that's who mm -hmm. Gary Lowenthal is. He's Spider-Man. Yeah. He's Spider-Man. That's great. So, yeah. I was, so, so, we're fine. We're all fine. Everything's fine. So, oh yeah. So check that out on Wednesday. And as a reminder, uh, uh, Sam, I forgot to have you do this in the very beginning, but please remind everybody why they need to be listening to your totally awesome podcast. Uh, I'm half of Growing Up Skywalker. We are a husband and wife team, at, <laughs> at relatively recently, who's been going through all of Star Wars and in-universe chronology. So check us out wherever you get your podcasts and follow us on Patreon. We do all sorts of interesting things there. We're taking a quick quick chronology break to typewriter back after the original trilogy. And we are almost done with the Acolyte, which we are enjoying a whole bunch and showing our work. Uh, and then we're going to go on to Bad Batch Season 3. So uh, not tomorrow. When does this come out? Does this come out Tuesday? This comes out now? Yeah, it's live. We're live now. Oh, so. live now. All right. So tomorrow is the penultimate episode of uh, Acolyte. Next week will be the Acolyte finale. And we're just super excited for that. Awesome. And yeah, you will cool. get the, the happy high-pitched squeak of yay when you say husband and wife duo for like the rest of your life. John. Really, John? <laughs> really, John? Anyway. It's going to turn into a different Lucas thing, and you guys are going to be running from a enormous a stone ball. Ew, that'd be fun. They just pulled an indie on us? <laughs> well, would you look at the time? We got a thing to catch. Okay, bye! <laughs> <laughs> bye, everybody! Bye! Copyright 2024 FSF Podcast. Reference to any specific product or entity mentioned on this podcast does not constitute an endorsement or recommendation by FSF Podcast. The views expressed by guests are their own, and their appearance on the program does not imply an endorsement of them or any entity they represent. If you have any questions about this disclaimer, please contact us via email at info at fsfpopcast.com.